What's up everyone and welcome to Rate My Tone, the video series where I rate your tone. <laughs> you send me clips, ok? I'm not rating my tone because, I mean, what's the point? I'm rating your tones, ok? Well, also, I'm not really rating the tones, I'm just listening to them and see if uh, there's anything to improve, you know? Or, you know, I can give pointers and whatnot, or we can just sit and enjoy some good old-fashioned tone. How about that? I think it's great. If you have any tones that you want me to check out, put them in the comment section of this video. Let's get on it. First up, we have Dare Strange Suicide Silence Disengage Live Playthrough. I think. I think this is uh, a friend of mine. This is uh, Alessio, the guy who makes uh, the subtitles for my videos. Okay, let's, let's go back. That's filthy, man. What is it? It's a PV6505 plus combo into a torpedo captor 8 ohm, so he's using an impulse response. Ibanez TS Mini, Tube Screamer. Noise suppressor, okay. The tone itself sounds really good, it's brutal as f But I'm missing a little bit of shimmer. To the tone. It seems like there's a low pass filter on, which kind of, you know, filters out a lot of the high end, which is really great if you're uh, trying to uh, kind of fix different parts of the mix, like guitar, bass, and drums, into a certain uh, frequency range. But in this case, it loses a little bit of high end. Uh, and I would love to have that back. So if you go to like 5000 Hz or 6000 Hz, you know, give it a little nudge right there. The guitars will sound a lot more expensive. Just saying, it's an old trick. Cool, man. Sounds great. Well done. All right, next up we have Old England Rate My Tone Dime Bag Edition. Ooh, I like where this is going from Dusty LN Studios. He made an 11 minute video. What's going on, YouTube? Thank you for stopping by Dusty Lane Studios today and checking out this video. <laughs> It's over there. It's panted in right there. <laughs> cool, man. Seems so to have all the whole rig going. Another dime bag guitar. Team from hell. Dime bag rig. In That's gear. a Century Two right, right there. Ola, you are going to be rating my dime bag tone. Holy shit! Okay. So we're gonna make this one short and sweet, so we can just get right into it. Because short and sweet. It's eleven minutes long. Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, man, that definitely sounds like uh, Dimebag right there. He's using a Dean, Dean from Hell, Sentry 170, Jagger speaker in the Randall uh, cab, from a PQ front and MXR peak, uh, in the front. Yeah, it definitely sounds like the Dimebag toe, no doubt about it. There's not really you can argue with this. I mean, an MXR and a Furman into a Sentry. Uh, you know, Dimebucker or a, you know, uh, 500XL pickup, you can't really go wrong. It, it will sound Dimebag immediately. In my opinion, it sounds a little bit too scooped. I mean, you can definitely bring back a lot of mids in this and you'll still have the same Dimebag character, but will probably work a lot better in the mix. And, uh, but it's, it sounds kick-ass and it sounds like Dimebag, man. You nailed it. Kudos to you, man. That sounded great. Thank you. I would love to hear some more mids in the actual captured tone, if that's a, you know, if that's a thing. Maybe you can move out the microphone a little bit from the center cone of the speaker, and you know, capture some of that. That. Yeah. Next up, we have Caballero. Caballero amps. Okay, let's check it out. Caballero. I guess it's this amp right here, on top. Simran Canonico Lemon Pro, Cavalero Grey Horn Amplifier, Angle 4x12, uh, Pro Vintage Straight, Sennheiser E609. Uh, often overlooked microphone, by the way. Just saying. It's a great microphone. I think it sounds good, man. It might be a little canny sounding. As in, you know, somewhere around the lines of uh, 300 to 400 hertz. You can probably dip it down a little bit. 
just to remove some of that canniness. It, it sounds like it's, you know, the tone is a little bit closed in. Uh, there you could definitely hear it there in the section where it's him by himself. That's it. Nothing wrong with that, but you can probably dial a little bit of that out with an EQ easily. Or just, you know, experiment with the microphone a little bit. The E609 is a little bit special. Uh, you have to work a little bit, but it is a really good microphone for guitar. So uh, I like the choice that's being made here. And the riff was sick too, man. So well done. All right, next up we have Godra Toxic Garbage Island guitar cover by Janis Klinert. Okay. Angle Fireball. No. Angle Iron Ball Head. 1x12 cab loaded with V30 selection speaker. Mic with a short SM57 straight into garage band. Not straight into the speaker. Straight into. Oh, okay. Whatever. I didn't put an EQ on the guitar, just a hair compression, that was it. I'm super chuffed with the tone. Okay. This is such a bang of a song, by the way. I have a hard time hearing the actual uh, guitar. It sounds really good, I must say, but I'm not sure how much of that is just the, you know, the actual mix of the album, Godra album, because that, yeah. It fits really well, I must say. But it, it's, it's a little hard to, to hear, man. Just saying. He's using a Gemroot Stratocaster, I believe. So that's probably with EMDs. What? He doesn't say. He doesn't say what guitar he's using, but I think it's a Gemroot Strat. Sounds good, man, but I, I don't think I can say anything about this tone because I, I don't think I can hear it properly uh, in the mix of this. Since, you know, you have the two Gojira guitars left and right. Uh, or, or it's just blended too well, man. Just saying. But it does sound good. Last but not least, we have Brutality. Foxhole, official music video. Let me read what it's all about. Yeah, man. What is this? The track was recorded with a Friedman BE100 through the Carbon 4x12 Brutality cab. Oh shit, Carbon 4x12s? I had two of those back in the day. Incredible cabs. Recorded with an SM57, Sennheiser 421 and an AKGA uh, 414 room mic. We're massive fans of the channel, we'd love to get your thoughts on our chugs. Okay, cool. Guitar sounds great. How old are these guys? I like that. That's a very gnarly guitar tone right there. You guys look kind of young. You're saying, how, does it say where, how young you are? Nothing? But you look uh, really young. I'm saying when I look this young, I didn't have this good of a guitar tone. Just saying. So that's, that's a compliment for me. Okay? Dude, I love the drummer too, man. I like it because it doesn't have necessarily... Uh, too much gain, it's like it's dialed back a little bit, but it works really well for the song. I, when you don't use too much gain, you know, the guitar tone becomes very more dynamic, which suits very well for certain things, like everything non-metal, <laughs> let's just say that. I think you have a great sounding band, man, and congratulations. You know, shit like this inspires me, just saying. These kids are fucking jamming it up right here. Dude, that's a cool shot. Hang on. Look at that. That's so cool. I have to steal that somehow. Dude. That was cool. I like that. There you go. That was Rape My Tone, number four for you right there. I thought all of these were fing kick ass. Well done, guys. If you have something you want me to rate, put it in the comment section of this video. I'll find you, okay? Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can't put that in there, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Terrible off, sorry. Turn it off.